and welcome to this tutorial that's been requested on this uh, Too Tall Toby drawing 2408-12. It's a tabbed bushing sleeve. So uh, looks like we'll start off. We're going to have a teardrop shape here. We've got a cylinder that's going to pass through it. Offset on the top looks like 10 millimeters. Total height is 60. We've got a couple of ears here that uh, need to have a radius uh, that's co-radial to the uh, diameter of the cylinder and then trimmed off flush with these slots. So let's pull this drawing off to the side and let's get started on this to see what it comes out like. Okay, so on this ZX plane, let's start a sketch here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll grab a slot tool, plant it on the origin and drag off to the, to the side here. We're going to be horizontal. That length is going to be 70. Hit tab, hit enter at 180, and then drag out for a little bit of a size on it and then we'll get rid of these equal constraints and now that we can resize this we're going to dimension this put the dimension on the front on this one here we have a radius of 20 and a radius on this one is going to be 75 divided by 2 okay and we need a horizontal constraint here. Select that and shortcut that to horizontal. And now we have the profile of our teardrop created. And next we're going to put in a couple of arcs or circles. The first one on this point. And this is a hole going to be 18. And the other one here at the origin, this is going to be a hole with a diameter of 50. Then we'll extrude this to a height of 8 and OK that. Next we're going to create the cylinder. Now if I had well, a couple of things I'll show you here. First I'll draw this circle and I'll just make this co-radial with the outside radius. And now here, I'm going to go up to my model tab and grab my extrude and select thin extrude. And we're going to have a diameter of 50 and 75. We're going to be 25. It's going to be 12.5 is our thickness on that wall. And we're going to do a dual depth. And the top depth is going to be 10. And the bottom tab down to the second field. And that is going to be 50. And we'll OK that. So if we just verify that with the measure stick here, we'll bring that up. And that's a total height of 60 to match the drawing. OK. Now, for those of you who do not have do not have thin extrude features, you can draw your outer circle, constrain it collinear or co-radial, and then select this inner arc, project that to sketch, maintain the association, and OK that, and then select the regular extrude, and again will be dual depth at 10 on top, 50 on the bottom, and it creates the same part. Okay, so now that's done. We, next thing we need to do is we need to create these little tabs here on the side here, and they are going to be a revolved feature so that we get this curve at radius of 45 off of the, off the body. So let me uh, Start on the on the YZ plane, and we'll start a sketch here. And I'm going to dimension. Well, first let's 
get this horizontal, and now we can dimension this is 16 from the bottom. And I want to make this, this line coincident to this point. And then we have an angle of 60 degrees. And a get the from this point. Uh, uh, get the dimension tool working here. Okay, from that point to the center is going to be 45. Okay, and now we can revolve this. So we'll do a revolve boss. We're going to do a mid plane. Grab our axis. And we don't want 360. We only need maybe 25. So we'll start there. And make note of this field here. We, this is going to be A3 in our equation editor. So we'll come back to that later and edit that if we need to. So we'll OK that. And next, on our XY plane, start another sketch. And grab our slot tool. And we'll just start going vertically at 90 degrees. That's going to be 30. And we need a radius on here of three, a dimension from this edge to the center is seven, and we'll make this end here coincident to the bottom edge, and then we'll do an extrude cut. And we'll just pull that out to this side. And it will mirror that on this plane. OK. Now it looks like we trimmed off our revolve nice and clean. And now we'll go ahead and mirror the revolve, the extrusion, and the mirror to the opposite side. And then click OK. All right. And now the last thing we have are these three notches on the top that are going to be patterned at 70 degrees apart. They're 12 inch or 12 millimeters wide, and they're going to be 13 millimeters deep. So let's start a sketch on this face here, and we'll just start a sketch. And I'm going to put a mid point constraint on that. And then we can dimension this. Dimension this line, or this slot is going to be 12. And the total depth or total length on this is from this line to this edge is going to be 58 and an extrude cut to a depth of 13. And then we'll pattern this, change this to one, change this angle to, what is that, 70 degrees. And we'll put a, grab our arc, okay there, and mirror that pattern to the other side and we're done. And now we have to assign material. This is going to be ABS. And let's see what we end up with the physical properties here. Calculate this. We've got to be within one gram. And the drawing says 156. And we have 156.1. So that gets us in the ballpark within tolerance. So 
anyway there you go hope this helps you out if you're trying this trying this model out for true tall toby's uh, tad bushing sleeve talk to you in the next video